Well, this is an ultrasound study of a 22 years old male with a history of uh, persistent vomiting and uh, his very first ultrasound with no lab profile provided. Now, in front of you is the IVC. This is the IVC. This is the aorta in longitudinal section. This is the proximal IVC, proximal aorta. And this tiny cystic area is right renal artery, which is seen patent. And this is the portal vein, common bile duct. This is the gallbladder. And the liver is normal. See what is the cause. This is the reason. This is the cause of his persistent vomiting he has been going through. Uh, just imagine that uh, he has been uh, going through endoscopies and uh, what not. But this is uh, the kidney, right? Measuring 10.5 cm in length and 4.4 uh, cm in anterior posterior diameter. See that the echogenicity of the parenchyma is significantly raised as compared to the adjacent uh, uh, liver parenchyma. Second finding is the muffling of the central sinus psychocomplex. Third is the loss of corticomedullary differentiation in this view. Uh, rather, and there is uh, also, uh, we don't, uh, there is uh, intact capsule scene and the thickness of the parenchyma is uh, within normal. Uh, now you see there are significant systems uh, prominent cystic area seen just above the area of central sinus complex. Yeah, central sinus complex fat. This is a magnified view. Imagine the prominence of the renal pyramids. These, uh, these are all pyramids no hydronephrosis, no calculus, uh, calculus seen. You can very well see the prominence of the renal pyramids. And uh, this is a case of uh, right renal parenchymal disease. Now let's go uh, to the other. Another finding in this patient is above the diaphragm that is consistent with the right pleural effusion. As you can see here, this is the level, this is the diaphragm, and this is the pleural effusion. This triangular shaped area is representative of fluid in the right pleural space. Okay. Now, beta millimeter. This is the spleen. And uh, now we are on the left side. There is a minimal amount of fluid seen though in the right, uh, left pleural space. This is the fluid uh, in the left pleural space, very small amount. This is the spleen, splenic hyalur region, and see the kidney, left kidney. same findings as we did see on the right side so no need to repeat that just apply the same see the right one again and you will find the same what I have narrated uh, regarding the right kidney and the, the dimension of this kidney is also normal this is the transfer section of the kidney. And you can see a bit patent vessel. Yeah. Here you see. This is the transfer section. And you can see the uh, this is the kidney. The prominence of the pyramid raised current primary loss of central sinus.
not lost, rather more porous and to sinus hypocomplex, this is the other region. Now, <coughs> sorry, the transfer section, that of the uh, right kidney, here we are. You can see that uh, the vessels appear prominent, uh, appear normal, patent. This is the transfer section of the uh, right kidney, showing you the so is there any other finding? And that is there <coughs> is uh, minimal amount of fluid seen in the dependent region peritoneal cavity uh, with bubble loops floating in it. This, this is fluid and these are the bubbles. Now see this is the urinary bladder. Patient is uh, complaining of anuria and that's why the urinary bladder is collapsed. This is the urinary bladder in transfer section. This is the prostate. Doesn't give any history of uh, drug intake or uh, any medicine from the Hakim or Homeo or anything else. And uh, I don't know. The possibility is number one, maybe some autoimmune disorder or metabolic disorder. Oh, no history of diabetes uh, is giving in his family. So these findings are consistent uh, with uh, uh, glomerulonephritis and uh, or interstitial nephritis. We'll have to go through further evaluation and uh, to come to the exact cause. Here you see, this, this is the fluid, then this is the air shadow from the fluid in the right pillar space. And see the kidney. The transfer section of the right kidney. Thank you very much.